Well, folks, it is now time to crown the biggest scumbag of 2021. This is the award that my viewers care about the most, and for good reason. In American politics, there is never a shortage of scumbags, and 2021 was absolutely no different. So here's how it works. I make four nominations, I then put it up to a vote, and then my viewers ultimately decide who is the channel's official scumbag of the year. Without further ado, here are my nominations. The first is Man Cinema. Now, I was thinking, should I nominate Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema separately? But ultimately, I decided that that would really be unfair to my viewers because I would be forcing them to split their votes between two individuals who are very likely going to win this award. At least, they're going to be solid contenders. So I decided to combine them since they're both potential scumbags of the year for obvious reasons. And those reasons are pretty similar. They're both blocking the Democratic Party's agenda, and even as milk toast and centrist as the Democratic Party is, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema wouldn't even go along with that. Now, I do understand that, yes, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema are the Democratic Party's rotating villain, and I'm sure that Joe Biden loves nothing more than using these two ghouls as an excuse as to why he couldn't accomplish his agenda. But still, they are actively doing harm to the country in spite of whether or not their harm is convenient to other corporate Democrats, in spite of the fact that other corporate Democrats are hiding behind them. On top of that, they have a blatant disregard for their constituents. You can't actually make meetings with them. Even if you are a constituent, they only will speak to their corporate donors. They're blatantly corrupt. These two individuals are just, they are everything that is wrong with American politics. So, of course, it was an easy nomination. Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema, collectively known as Manchinema, they're up for nomination. Now, the second nomination is the Cuomo brothers. Now, when it comes to the Cuomo brothers, you know, these two individuals represent everything wrong with both American media and American politics. You have a corrupt corporate Democrat who covered up the nursing home scandal, then got away with sexual harassment for a very long time. And then you have his brother, Chris Cuomo, using his power as a CNN insider to do the bidding for his brother. It's just gross. And again, they represent everything wrong with both media and politics. So I thought that they were a great nomination. Another nomination, Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson is a white supremacist. And we've known this for a very long time. But in 2021, he took things considerably further. Not only is he spreading misinformation with regard to COVID-19 vaccines, but he is actually saying the quiet part loud now. He's actually talking about the great replacement conspiracy theory using full-blown white supremacist talking points on national television. I mean, he was a lot more subtle and covert in the way that he sold white supremacy to his Fox News audience. But this year, he went full mask off. And saying that Tucker Carlson went mask off, it's it doesn't really have any meaning because he's always kind of gone mask off. But if there was any question about him before, he kind of took away that plausible deniability. He essentially came out as a white nationalist without saying it. I mean, there's the moment where he almost said that segregation was the best thing. It was a mistake, but we all know what he was doing there. And the damage that he causes actually normalizes white, normalizing white supremacy. That isn't just something that's, that's harmful. It does long-term damage to the country. On top of that, his lies about the 2020 election after originally not necessarily playing into it as hard as other right-wing pundits. I mean, Tucker Carlson, if he's not a scumbag, and he if he's not worthy of this nomination, nobody is. So, of course, I had to nominate him. Now, the next nomination is a bit difficult because it's a lot of people. It's a group of world leaders who are collectively denying the world access to vaccines. No one individual in particular. I mean, but we can we can look at a couple of countries that stand out. Angela Merkel in German in Germany, other countries like Switzerland, they are refusing to support the TRIPS waiver, the vaccine waiver that would allow other countries who are developing countries to manufacture their own generic versions of the COVID-19 because of these individuals. They are prolonging the pandemic and, in the meantime, putting lives at risk. And that is just so morally reprehensible that I don't even know that they are worthy of this category. It almost feels like we should create 
a different award just for these scumbags like genociders or killers of the year or something like that. But of course, I was too lazy to create an entirely different category, so I put them in here. So uh, world leaders block blocking the vaccine waivers at the WTO. I mean, I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. They're prolonging the pandemic and killing people. Fuck these people. They are indeed scumbags. It's just a matter of who is the biggest scumbag. Now, before we get to that, I do have some honorable mentions. Greg Abbott, who banned abortion in Texas. Ron DeSantis, aka Ron Death Santis, who's becoming more authoritarian by the day. Brian Kemp, who passed Jim Crow 2.0. Donald Trump for continuing to kill our democracy with his big lie. Christopher Rufo for elevating critical race theory to the mainstream, which is a bullshit right-wing boogeyman that is for some reason really effective. Joe Biden for breaking so many campaign promises, not canceling student debt, not being humane when it comes to immigration, lying about $2,000 checks. I mean, the list goes on. Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert for obvious reasons. Louis DeJoy for ruining the Postal Service. Dave Chappelle for helping to normalize and further mainstream transphobia. Joe Rogan for going crazy. Matt Gates for continuing the big lie. Ted Cruz for being Ted Cruz. And really, if we're talking about honorable mentions, I can go on for a very long time, but we'll stop it right there. That's the honorable mention list. Now, before I get to the results and we crown our scumbag of 2021, let's look at the history of this award. So back in 2015, Donald Trump won this title. He was scumbag of the year with Debbie Wasserman Schultz as the runner-up. In 2016, Hillary Clinton was scumbag of the year for losing to Donald Trump. Corporate media was the runner-up for assisting her with that. In 2017, Ajit Pai was our scumbag of the year for repealing net neutrality. Donald Trump was the runner-up. In 2018, Donald Trump was the scumbag of 2018. By then, he was president for a while, so he was able to actually do a lot of damage. Paul Ryan was the runner-up that year. In 2019, Mitch McConnell was the scumbag of the year. Trump was the runner-up, and that was the same result in 2020 with Mitch McConnell as scumbag and Trump as the runner-up. But this year, we have a brand new scumbag. So without further ado, let's get to the results. So on Twitter, with 1,239 votes, Manchinema is by far and away the biggest scumbag with 56.2% of the vote. Tucker Carlson came in second place. The Cuomo brothers came in third place and world leaders blocking the trips waiver came in fourth place. Now on Patreon with 42 total votes, once again, Manchinema was by far and away the biggest scumbag with the world leaders blocking the trips waiver coming in second place, Tucker Carlson coming in third place and the Cuomo brothers coming in last place. Now on YouTube, where we had the largest share of votes with 9.6 thousand. Manchinema once again was the winner of Scumbag with 59% of the vote. We have world leaders blocking the trips waiver with 21%. Tucker Carlson in third place. The Cuomo brothers in last place. So overall, of course, it's obvious that across three different platforms, my audience overwhelmingly agrees that Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, collectively known as Manchinema, are the biggest scumbags in American politics of 2021, with world leaders blocking the vaccine waivers coming in a distant second place. Now, let's see what the audience had to say about this. Corey Archibald on Twitter says, Cuomo brothers are attempting choice, but without question, the most destructive duo is Manchinema. They are directly responsible for the suffering of millions and the acceleration of the climate crisis. Jordan on Twitter adds, I'm gonna say, trust fun Tucker, with his destructive white supremacist commentary. Mike Murdoch on Patreon writes, Manchinema, easy. Thanks to them, stonewalling so many bills that can help people, workers, unions, and voters, they may have doomed the possible last chance for the U.S. to turn around from the cliff the Republicans are pulling us to. I would also add Joe Biden and the Democrats if I wanted to for putting their tail between their legs and not even pushing back against Manchinema, with only a handful of them brave enough to push back against those two. Rick and Steve on Patreon add, it's so hard to choose. I agree. Ryan De La Fosse on YouTube says, while they are all bad in their own way, only one of those is causing mass death and has most likely contributed to more COVID variants. Such a great point. Fangirl on YouTube says, Mike, we're going to need an all of the above for this lot. Yeah. Medieval Werewolf says, I'm going to have to go with the patent sitters. If Manchinema wasn't a better love story than Twilight, there would always be another excuse for Dems to not deliver. 
very solid point two real productions on youtube says i changed my answer three times because all of them make me sick to my ass so there you have it joe mansion and kirsten cinema are our scumbags of 2021 it's the first time we've had a different scumbag in quite some time you know uh, it's nice to change it up a little bit this is our first democrats that we've had for quite some time and it's our first duo to ever win this award ever actually but i mean joe mansion and kirsten cinema they really are a package deal they're Two different sides of the same coin so it really is warranted that they both win this title i'm sure that they both love it and they both relish in it uh but you know regardless they get this title only won by the worst of the worst in american politics so uh congr congratulations like I, I don't know if i, I should say that but you know they, they won and they deserve it so yeah fuck joe mansion and fuck kirsten cinema